Hey there guys, it's Joe Szechuan here, and we've got a Kickstarter unboxing to do today. Came just in time for the holidays, but um, as, as the name suggests, you may or may not know what this is, but uh, we've got the sequel to it, I guess. Uh, it's one of the most unique things that I've backed on the Kickstarter platform. It is the Mini Museum, and this one is the sequel to Mini Museum 2! Um, so, as you uh, can see here, we got a nice little box on here, and we got some uh, just some awesome little work, artwork, I guess, of, of some stuff that's included in the Mini Museum 2. But before I get into the second one, I'll show you the first one just to give you an idea because I did back the original one as well. But uh, this is the Mini Museum. This is the large version of the first one. And as uh, you can maybe may or may not see, it's filled with some awesome artifacts and, and whatnot from, from past. So there's some stuff from, uh, there's an insect in amber, there's part of the Berlin Wall, Abraham Lincoln's house, a human, part of a human skull, part of a human brain, and the part of an Apollo 11 uh, trip, dinosaur dung, T-Rex tooth. There's just lots of cool stuff on here from, from you know, it's just like as the name suggests, it's a mini museum. It's literally just a, a stuff that you'd usually find in a museum encased in, in nice acrylic uh, kind of fixtures, but this is some cool ass stuff. And this is the second edition that's coming in this box here, which we're going to unbox real quick just to show you guys. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually opening it up, but uh, we got a nice little quote from the creator there, Hans Fex. Um, but uh, let's let's just dive right in to show you the new mini museum if you're uh, curious on it. But um, we got first the certificate of authenticity, just to make sure that all of this stuff is indeed authentic and, you know, was gotten legally for the most part. Uh, we got a nice little companion book which came uh, as an add-on for the last time but just to give you a quick little flip through um, it shows you basically gives you a little bit more of a rundown on a lot of the items that were in there so there's raw emerald and we'll flip through a couple more pictures and whatnot but uh, gives you a lot of background on some of the items and the process that they went through but uh, a lot of cool stuff in this in this booklet and uh, Martian atmosphere that's that's rad as, as, as shit um, but uh, lots of lots of stuff in this little booklet here just to give you a quick little more information on each individual item that's in here this is an add-on that I did but uh, this was included also in it so you'll see another item but this is a little piece of medieval chainmail from the 15th century that's really hard to see um, but there's there it is right there just that little piece of chainmail just just you know what? It's just cool stuff. I like I like armor and stuff, especially from medieval times. So that's pretty rad. So it's in. Let's get right into the nitty gritty of this box. We have the mini museum here inside this pouch. So we'll get this thing, and uh, I guess we'll have to probably take it out of plastic to show it off a little bit better. But same size, I think, as the mini museum one. We'll get this out of here. But uh, here is the mini museum two. It's a little hard to see, so actually I'll put it behind uh, the. The companion booklet just to give you a little bit of a better uh, view I guess still a little bit of glare but some new rare specimens from Earth and beyond and uh, I don't know if you can see but there's part of the Olympic torch the Hindenburg petrified lightning Golden Gate Bridge the first supercomputer uh, raw emerald uh, there's also the medieval cha medieval chain mail there's even part of Star Wars on there part of the crate dragon um, but uh, really cool stuff in this and uh, again just to give you a side-by-side of the two mini museums, the first one and the second one, uh, like I said, one of the coolest things. I can't wait if they end up doing another one. I'm definitely going to back it. Rather, rather, uh, I guess, expensive to a degree, but again, this is some stuff that you probably can't get anywhere else. So um, I'm very, very happy with the mini museum. If, if, if you get the chance, if you're curious, you know, about prehistoric things or just history or artifacts and stuff, stuff like that, honestly, you should definitely check it out and. If you have the chance to pick one up, definitely do so because I think it's one of the coolest things ever, to be honest. Just to have pieces of, you know, dinosaur poop and shit is just, it's, it's cool. It's cool as shit to have this on your desk. So, so you know what? That's all I got to say. I think it's really awesome. So you should definitely check it out if you get the chance, if you're interested in this type of stuff. So, um, yeah, that's all I got to say. Definitely check out the mini museum. And if they do more stuff in the future, I'm probably going to promote the shit out of it. So, um... That's all I got for this video for the time being. Just I wanted to show the mini museum because I got it in the mail uh, not too long ago. So uh, and I think, like I said, it's probably the coolest thing I've backed on Kickstarter. So can't wait for more and just awesome work as always. It looks beautiful and it came really quickly this time around. So very very uh, happy with it. So thank you for watching, guys. And like I said, go check out mini museum. I have some links to some of their stuff down below so you can check it out because I think it's cool. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's that's it for me. I'll see you guys on the flip side. 
I don't know if people still say that, but anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.